At St Hills you can study AQA Geography. There are three main papers in an AQA uh, study programme. The first uh, paper will look at living with the physical environment. It's a one and a half hour paper and it includes topics such as natural hazards, tectonic hazards, climate change, tropical rainforest, glaciation and coast. In the second paper, which is called Challenges in the Human Environment, you will also have another an hour and 30 minute exam. You will investigate big topics such as urban issues and challenges and the changing economic world, which include the following areas of study. So you will look at global patterns of urban change in NEEs and HICs. You will look at population, opportunities, challenges in developing countries. You will also study sustainable living. You will look at reducing the global development gap, economic growth and change in demand on resources such as water. In the final paper, which is uh, paper three, you will do geographical applications. Um, it's a one hour and 15 minute paper. For this, you will conduct two fieldwork inquiries over the two years. The human inquiry is based in Newcastle currently, and we look for opportunities for recreation and entertainment. And the physical fieldwork is a coastal inquiry. The second half of that paper is based on a pre-release booklet. And the pre-release booklet is sent to us in or around March and you will be taught uh, the skills that you need for that paper. Uh, in all three papers you will apply geographical skills that you have developed in Key Stage 3 and Key Stage 4 such as grid references and you will use them to help you understand the world in which you will live. You will further develop your ability to write at length and justify your opinions. You will use facts and evidence. You will be able to, you will be able to use data and statistics to support your point of view. What kind of careers can you follow if you study geography? You can become a city planner, a civil engineer, uh, you could work with coastal defences, work for the environmental agency uh, such as monitoring and development flood defences, you can work with the armed forces or the public services like the police. All types of management roles value geography and journalism, politics and if you really enjoy working outdoor you can uh, do those jobs as well. There are lots of other opportunities. So why should you study Geography GCSE? Uh, it'll help you to ask questions about the world in which you live. It'll help you to come up with answers that help you understand your place in it. You will develop skills such as using statistics and problem solving, map skills, using creative thinking and being able to invest current issues such as hurricanes, storms, extreme weather, volcanic eruptions, growing cities and population growth. It has some of the most transferable skills that are valued by employers and this is why as a degree subject it has some of the highest rates of employment. So what skills do you need to be successful at GCSE Geography? You need to be good at statistical maths and you have to have good English skills. You have to be a problem solver and a team worker. You have to enjoy investigating and researching geographical issues and be good at giving your point of view on an issue and you must be able to give evidence to back it up.